What's good? It's the Boston Clinic and more. Just to add more. Um, talking football today. And um, NFL pick them. That's what we're doing. Um, give a little point spread. Some of them get point spread and tell you how close the game is going to be. Um, you know, we 18 and 13 overall. I think I was 8 and 7 the first week or something like that. 10 and 6 last week. Should have been 11 and 5. I meant to switch a pick. But um, keeping the ball rolling and keeping the trio. And, um, you know, if you guys. Um, you know, like fantasy uh, football, fantasy sports. It's an app called Sideline Fantasy Sports. I think it's blue with a white S. Um, lets you bet against the spread, and it's all for fun, just for you know virtual points. But they give away, uh, they gave away five thousand to the best picks of uh, week one. They gave away five jerseys to the five best um, picks of week two. You bet against the spread. You bet the over and under. And then you do, or you do, and then you do three parlay picks. So it's definitely a great app. Um, check it out, fantasy uh, sideline fantasy sports, and I, I I believe they do more than uh, football. This is my first year, but it's definitely legit. Join the league, and you all automatically uh, able to uh, compete for those things, those prizes they choose to give out every week. And I start off with the pick 'em. Um, I like Los Angeles over the 49ers. No need to explain that. I think Jared Goff is bouncing back this year without shitty ass Jeff Fisher. Um, Baltimore Ravens. I like them over Jacksonville. Um, obviously Jacksonville, you know, is showing us that Colin Kaepernick is being blacked out and whatever you want to say, freezed out from the NFL because Blake Boyle is shitty as fuck. It shouldn't even be in the league no more the way he's playing. And he's giving guys opportunities to beat this team because his defense is outstanding and holding it down. But because he sucks, he sucks monkey ass. I got Baltimore probably by, I say Baltimore by a touchdown. It'd be a good defensive game. I think Flacco will make a few, a few plays through the air. Um, and West make a few plays on the ground. Never Buffalo, no need to explain. I'll tell you this, C.J. Anderson probably going to want to run crazy. I think Simeon is going to be Buffalo with his arm. I think he can do it. Uh, Buffalo ain't got no secondary. Um, I like uh, the Broncos by 10. I think the def- defense might get a touchdown or two. New Orleans and uh, New Orleans Saints in, in Carolina. Um, tough game, but I don't like New Orleans outside on the road. Um, I think Carolina defense hold it down. I think Cat, Cat, Cam might improve this week. I think uh, you might see Samuels and Christian McCaffrey um, more involved in a short passing game. So he got injured last week. I don't know if he can be healthy with them playing him. I think they should have sat him out the first four or five weeks and let him just continue to get healthy. But stay prerogative. They act like they about to win the Super Bowl this year. Absolutely not. I like uh, Carolina probably by a field goal. Atlanta, Detroit. Um, well, matter of fact, we skipped over Pittsburgh and, and Chicago. Um, Chicago got a, st- a, a good defense and potentially two or three years down the road. It's going to be a great defense. But the quarterback situation is a travesty. And I agree with them keeping Glennon in there. Trubisky has nothing to work with. Now they got the running back Cohen, but now Jordan Howard is hurt. Um, you know, no receivers at all. Let the, let the rook just sit on the bench and protect them. I got Pittsburgh by like uh, 10. I think Pittsburgh has one of them had one of the more, more easier schedules, but I think it's well needed to implement Le'Veon Bell and Martinez Bryan and get their secondary together and let Joe Hayden get acclimated. But I like where they're going. Um, Detroit and Atlanta, I'm obviously a Detroit Lions fan, if you didn't know, love um, what Atlanta's done. Of course, you know, people overreacted to them almost losing to Chicago, their dome team. Of course, they don't play good outside for obvious reasons. We know that. But um, I'm like, uh, still going to take Atlanta. This is the litmus test to see if Detroit is real. Um, I think just Atlanta has proven they find a way to win. Detroit did beat them last time out in London in 2014 without Megatron and just with Golden Tate. So they have an idea how to play Atlanta. We played them a lot over the years. But I like Atlanta, a touchdown, probably a little bit more. Um, you know, Cleveland, Indianapolis, no need to spend time on that one. I like Cleveland by three. This first time they've been favored in over 20,000 moons, <laughs> light years. Tampa Bay, Minnesota, no Sam Bradford. Seems like he out with a non-contact knee injury for quite some time. Case Keenum ain't going to cut it. Cut it. I like uh, Tampa in this one. Um, it'll be a tough game. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game, mid-scoring game, 17-10 type of game. Minnesota's defense, no joke. Case Keenum, you know, he ain't going to get the game away, but he ain't going to win it for you. Houston, New England, rookie quarterback has never went to New England and um, legitimately won um, in a Bill Belichick era. And I look for Tom Brady to put him on there, but that's just a disclaimer. I don't think the Patriots is gonna cover that fourteen and a half with a lot of injuries. Um, maybe so they they up there in um in, in Gillette Stadium in New England. But if I was you, I would take Houston with the points. 
Uh, 14 and a half is just too much for, you know, a team with a defense of that caliber and Bill. Um, and Bill Belichick, I understand he the truth. But, um, you know, Houston head coach has an idea how to play Tom Brady because he used to be the offensive coordinator. Um, you know, Miami over New York, no need to explain. Um, I th- I'll take them over New York about, about 10 points to know how Jake Cutler is. Um, Giants, Eagles, I'm going to take – I'm gonna take the Eagles at the crib, um, but it, it ain't gonna be easy. This is a, this is a life or death situation for the Giants. Um, Seattle, Tennessee, upset special. I'm taking Tennessee, even though at the crib. I don't know if Seattle's being favored. It probably is because they Seattle offensive line suck, running back suck. They found a guy in Carson, but I don't know how real he is. I'm gonna take Tennessee with possibly Derrick Henry starting and probably never getting a start in running back position back to Demarco Murray. Um, Cincinnati Bengals and a and the Green Bay Packers got an upset special here. A lot of people don't believe him. It's a simple fact that Green Bay's injured all over the board. Two tackles injured. Uh, number one receiver Jordy injured. Number one two slot receiver Randall Cobb injured. Um, defense suspect. And um, uh, Cincinnati played a lot of great defenses so far. Baltimore then they played Houston. Two top probably five defenses in my opinion. I look for Andy Dalton and AJ Green to get it together um, and get back on track this week. I like um I think Green Bay is favored by nine and a half. I'll take Bengals to cover that. Um Kansas City and the Chargers. I like the Kansas City, even though Chargers are desperate. Um they just on they just in a groove. Alex Smith is breaking tendencies and now throwing the ball deep and Kareem Hunt. Uh, and Travis Kelsey's ball and I look for Tyreek Evans to have a big day here. Oakland at Washington, you already know what it is. I'm taking about that action. Marshawn Lynch, who's looking like the old Marshawn Lynch, the numbers were indicated because they're easing them in. But he's definitely going to be a weapon down the stretch for Oakland. Crabtree is definitely catching, you know, in his own, t- in his own touchdown and doing his thing. I look for Cooper and Josh uh, Norman to be a battle, but I think Crabtree and Jerry Cook might be two important, um, vital people to this, uh, to their victory. I like uh, Oakland by plus seven, more than seven, negative seven. Um, I like Kansas City by three. Um, Dallas and Arizona, uh, they just probably commit suicide out there. He got to go against Patrick Peterson. Um, you know, he had to go against Tlaib the week before, Jack Rabbit the week before that. Um, you know, and, and Cardinals got a good front seven. It's just Carson Palmer is just erratic. Um, he, he didn't need to just tone it down and, and manage the game, but that's easier said than done now that David Johnson is injured. Um, defense is good in Arizona, but it's not what they used to be. Um so it is what it is. I'll take Dallas by by five. Um, you know, fantasy sleepers. Uh, Jarvis Landry for Miami, I think he's questionable. But he had 15 targets and 13 catches last week, especially if you're in a PPR league. I do daily fantasy. Um, Delvin Cook might be a good pick this week without, uh, you know, Sam Bradford being there. Um, you know, Martavius Bryant, Antonio Brown. Those are really real good picks as well. Um, defense might want to go with Baltimore because <laughs> Blake Royals is about to give it up in the New England defense as well, going against the rookie and Deshaun Watson. Um, let's get into the power rankings real quick. I got Atlanta number one. A lot of people say, well, they struggled versus Chicago early in the season. Um, they showed a lot of mental fortitude coming back from, um, you know, the Super Bowl hangover. And a lot of people thought they was going to be the team with the hangover, but they're showing that's not to be true. You know, beat Green Bay. But I think Chicago game was more important for them. To know that they, they can go on the road outdoors where they have struggled before. Most dome stru- teams, uh, most dome teams struggle going outdoors and on the road. And Chicago got a solid defense, and they found a way to win. Two for me is Denver, Denver Broncos. Um, I just love the defense, and Trevor Simeon is looking good. We'll see if anybody can figure out Trevor Simeon and figure out that defense. I mean that offense. It'll come sooner or later. Somebody will figure it out and we'll see the adjustments Trevor Simeon make. Three for me is Kansas City. I'm not totally sold on Kansas City. They did just go life and death with the Eagles. Um, they did beat the with beat the Patriots. Give them credit for that. And missing Eric Berry is probably a huge part of that. But I just don't see Alex Smith continuing, you know, his hot streak. But the defense is real. Cream Hunt is good, and we're gonna see. We're gonna see it's very early, but I think they three. A lot of people. It's debatable. Four for me is Pittsburgh. I understand. I talked about the slow start as far as the week uh, schedule. Um, Cleveland. Um, now they got Chicago coming up this week. Last week was Minnesota without a quarterback. Um, they going to Chicago. I look for them to show up. I look for them to steady improve. Let Le'Veon Bell uh, get acclimated from not having a training camp, which he a dumbass for not going to training camp. Like, like I don't get it. And you know, James Conner is looking good as a backup, as a cancer survivor, I believe. But you know, I got them at number four. Number five, I got the New England Patriots. Um, 
you know, they're New England. They don't need to explain. A lot of injuries there to just, you know, I, I would think about trading Gronk if I was him. He's a China dog. Always hurt. Oakland Raiders, six for me. Um, the more they implicate Marshawn Lynch and the more that defense continues to show against elite competition that they are real, they're going to move up fast. Seven for me is Detroit. Uh, I didn't put them in my, my Facebook one because I didn't want to be biased. You know how motherfuckers it is. But this is a real test for them this week to see if they can move up or potentially move up out the top ten. Baltimore is eight for me. Um, love the defense. and I love that Joe Flacco is looking, looking healthy. I love the way the West is running that rock. Um, you know, eight for me is Dallas. I still got them there. Can't stop the Dak and Zeke attack for too long. Uh, but if Dak, if Zeke gets suspended, the Cowboys are in trouble with that defense and the way Dak Prescott played without the threat of a run. Nine for me, um, well, eight was Baltimore, excuse me. Nine for me was Dallas. And ten to end the video for me is Green Bay. Um, um, I think when they get healthy, they're going to be a problem. But the defense is is, is, is sorry and soft as wet, charming tissue. Um, they got rid of A.J. Hawk, Ju uh, Julius Peppers over the years. They got rid of Tremont Williams, Casey Hayward. They got rid of a lot of, you know, guys. And they got to do from watching Kevin King playing corner and Devon House, who could, who who's not a starting at caliber corner. Um, but good corner, good safety is Morgan Burnett and Ha-Ha Clinton Dix. But the middle of that defense is sorry as shit with them two linebackers and Mike Daniels injured. So we'll see. You know, health is going to be a key for them and develop a 